These are the six years on the APNU from 2015, 2016, 2017, 20, 2018, 2019, and part of 2020. The total investment in water in this country in that period was 10.8 billion in six years. Six years. In 2024, it's $21 billion. So in one year, we are investing in GWI twice as much as APNU invested in GWI for the six years they've been in office. In a single year, in 2024, we're investing in GWI that much. This tells you a lot. So what have we been investing in, in, in these years? That's just, I'm just giving you one year, but if you look at the cumulative total, it's about $46 billion we have invested since we got into office. And for what precisely? It is constructing 14 new water treatment plants. 12 have been awarded already. And seven will be completed by the end of 2024. And another five for end 2025. This will benefit 181,000 people who will now have treated water in Guyana from through 12 new treatment plants that are already awarded and right across the country. I'm not going to give you the locations because I'll ask them to make this public. Two surface water treatment plants will soon be awarded for the Hope Canal and one at the Lama Canal on the East Bank. So that we will now, like how we are treating surface water in Georgetown, we can then treat the surface water there so we don't have to do wells, which would be more abundant to supply the massive new housing schemes that are being built on the East Coast as well as the East Bank. Apart from these 14 new water treatment plants, that will benefit 181,000 people. We are rehabilitating and upgrading 12 of the 28 existing plants to extend treated water coverage to an additional 40,000 people. So we have 28 water treatment plants. We are now exp um, upgrading 12 of them to expand the amount of treated water that could to serve people, and that's another 40,000 beneficiaries. 